can't just say you smell divine. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, oh, yes. See? And looking divine as well. You've... Oh, thank you. Oh. It really annoys me how men age really well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've been trailing all the time about this other woman in your life. Yeah. And so, tell us exactly what well, it is. Well, all the way through the summer, myself and Fern Cotton are going to take over Radio 2 in the mornings from 10 till 1. And... Uh, just have a laugh. Yeah. Really? And you've done radio before, haven't you? Yeah, bits and pieces, but, but never is... never my own show. Yeah. You know, with uh, Fern. But yeah. Fern's great. You know, we did a whole demo the other day. We spent three hours as if it was live. Mm. And she is just amazing. So yeah, yeah. yeah. She's a young yeah. girl, but she's got it together. I so can't she wait be, for this. Will she be doing all yeah. the technical side of things then? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna look and learn. Pretend. You know? yeah. Will you be playing any Spandau songs on there? No. <laughs> I don't think so. But it's really cool because uh, being it, because it's Radio 2, they've asked us, you know, you, we can play our favourite albums mm. and we can oh. play different tracks, what bits of jazz on? or bits of classical or bits of yeah, you, yeah. some rare songs. And Saturday mornings. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so great. Is it 10 till...? Yeah. You know where um, Graham slot is? Yeah. yeah. So we're there. Is yeah. it 10 a.m. till...? What's it, 2? Ten. Uh, 10 till 1. Ten to one. Yeah. Because it's, it's funny on radio, isn't it? Because in those breaks after the records, you do have to... It's not like TV where you can yeah. kind of pause or you can have a look between you. You have to constantly... It's much harder, I think, than people yeah, think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of you have to think on your feet. Mm. You don't have to do your hair. Yeah, that's no. a good thing. Or get your clothes yeah. and go in in your pyjamas. No, but I really you're like You're following it. your son, though, aren't you? Because yeah. he's been really successful on the radio and now he's on The X Factor as well. Oh, Roman's doing amazing, you know. Uh, he, his show that he does, uh, yeah, 7 till 10 in the evenings on Capital, is like one of the biggest shows on radio at the moment because pop music has just taken off again. I think yeah. pop music today is the healthiest it's been mm. since the 1980s. Yeah. yeah. Since Cheers. Spandau. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm not saying ours is healthy. Well, I know the comeback to it. That's the era. And I think, um, you know, Roman's got that show and he's leading the way. But I'm very proud of him. Yeah. 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 He's and your daughter, of course. Does. She's a top photographer as well, isn't she? I mean, you yeah, must be Harley's so uh, a photographer. Yeah. So she's doing her thing, Roman's doing his. And, uh, must be and so they're proud. Very proud. Yeah. Very proud. yeah. And but they but don't um, live at home now, do they? No. Oh. No, they're both gone now. And so. And you find that really difficult? Really difficult. Yeah. Because you don't hear men a lot talking about emptiness. No, no, I found it really difficult. Uh, I, you know, you can imagine that our house was just full of noise, a boy mm. and a girl. And all their mates in and everything. Yeah, all their yeah. mates coming around to watch football. And Now I'm going to be sitting at home tonight watching the Wales game on my own. Oh. I'll come round. It's costing me a fortune in magazines, <laughs> keeping Shirley busy. You've been married to Shirley forever, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a lifetime. Oh, I think it's something like 28 years, oh. something like that. Oh, what is the se sorry, what is the secret to that, especially in the industry that you've... That you're from and the and the pop scene and all that. It's... There's no secret. Oh come on, yeah. give us some tips. She's, 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 she's your friendship. mate. Yeah. You've got to, You hit a nail on the yeah. head. It's friendship. She's been and there with you through it all. If you get she? the friendship right, then everything else just grows from it. And yeah. you come from a loving family as well. I mean, we grew up in the same street yeah. in Islington. Yeah. Your mum and dad were, you know, yeah, the, the lovely, does, lovely, uh, lovely does, mum and dad. Absolutely. Does Shirley ever have a chorgasm? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll, tell you, I'll be honest with you, not when I'm cleaning up, because right. I'm a clean freak. I like oh, everything oh, clean that's good. all the time. No wonder you're so successful. <laughs> you're <probably in. laughs> but, but when I do a little bit of DIY, which oh. always goes wrong, oh. but if I do, if I put my hand to it, she loves it. Oh. And yeah. I have to keep her off. <laughs> Drill, that's what I say. <laughs> I'm, 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 it's good you're on today because I saw this picture of uh, Brooklyn Beckham in the paper today and yeah. he's driving, he's what, 17, he's just passed his mm. test and he's driving a £37,000 Mercedes yeah, and that. he's parked it on a suspended parking mm. bay. <laughs> and it's going to cost him £30,000 a year for insurance. Yeah. Yeah. It's so I ridiculous. Mean, when Roman was yeah. a teenager, would you have bought him a car that expensive? No, no. Ro had the uh, the small kind of hatchback yeah. that every other kid in his school yeah, had. Your first yeah. car uh, yeah. to make him feel part of the gang mm. because there was Roman above everyone was uh, more concerned about people thinking that I opened the door for him. Yeah, yeah. He, he hated the fact going into school, people saying that I was his dad, mm. and he yeah, hated yeah. it. He always wanted to play that mm. down, and he still does today. You know, I think one of the things that Rose most proud of with his radio show and now the yeah. X Factor mm. gig that he's got is that 
along the way, I haven't opened any doors for him. Done yeah. it and he's done it himself. himself. Yeah. But, of course, people always assume that you have. You know what I mean? People, people always assume. They do it with yeah. my boys. Well, you've only got it because you want And I, uh, I wouldn't know how to go well, about well, it. Well, Roe went back to the basics. You know, Roe came to me one day and he said, what am I going to do when I leave school? And I, I said, what do you want to do? He said, I love football. I said, OK, go down into the room downstairs and set up a TV camera and shoot mm. a YouTube channel. And from his YouTube channel, That's everybody saw got. it and saw yeah. it. That he was good did at it. did yeah. your children, obviously having a famous mom and dad, did they ever experience bullying at school or out of school? Um, no, not really. No, my kids never. But I have a thing with bullying, you see, because every every night I watch TV, and I think sometimes we are responsible for the bullying that goes on with the kids at school. Yeah. Because all I see sometimes, especially with comedians, mm. is a kind of blueprint of how yeah. to bully the next day yeah. in yeah. school. We, we, you know, when you get a little bit older, you call it banter. Yeah, in, yeah. in school, it's bullying. Mm. And I think we lay the wrong blueprint sometimes. Mm. And there's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.